Lori here from Mountain Mud Pottery. I am going to do a continuation of the last video which was on making a mug. So today I'm going to show you how to trim a mug and how to put a handle on a mug. I've shown you how to pull the handles already so I will show you that after I trim the mug. So what I do, I find this easiest for me is I wet the wheel head slightly and then I dampen the rim of the mug, put it upside down on the wheel head and center it. Which takes a little bit of maneuvering. And then I tap it down to have it stick to the wheel head. The next thing I do is I take a trimming tool. This is my favorite type of trimming tool. I always want to hold on to the mug because even though it's stuck on here, it does tend to come off a little bit. The reason I don't put little plugs of clay like you see some people do is because it sometimes distorts the rim. And once a rim is distorted, a clay has a memory and it will go back to that after it's fired. So the first thing I do is just take off a little bit of the thickness off the bottom. And I like to put a little mock foot in here. So what I'm going to do is take the edge of the trimming tool and then I'm going to push down and then clean up this edge of the foot ring of the foot sorry not ring and then I'm just going to trim up to meet the edge of that mock foot so what this does is gets rid of any extra thickness. It also tends to clean up the shape a little bit. And I just think it looks more professional with this little foot on it. So the last thing I do is I take a metal rib and I do one more compression on the bottom. And what that does is it cleans it up nicely, kind of burnishes it, and also helps eliminate any cracking that may occur. And I can also take this rib and just clean up the mug, gently pull to release it, and there you can see it has a much more defined and more professional looking shape. Now I'll take it over to my workbench and show you how to apply a handle to it. Okay, so now I have a long handle because I do mass production of handles on, and mugs, so I do a large piece to start. So I take the mug and I put the end, the top end of the handle and then I just kind of see where I think it's going to look good. I make a little mark, put the mug down, put the handle down, and with the pin tool I just cut off the amount that I need and put this aside for the next, the next mug. So I make a mark of where the handle is going to sit to start. And then put it aside and then see the little marks I have there. I take this tool that makes scratches. So I want to score where the handle is going to go. And then I pretty much know where I want it to end. So I make a mark at the bottom. Also where the bottom part is going to go. And as you notice, I don't put it right at the top because if you put it at the top, when you turn the mug upside down in a cupboard, then it wouldn't, it wouldn't sit flush. And aesthetically, I like the look of that. Then I will also score the top 
of the, of the handle. And then I will take some slip. So I have a bucket here. I always have a bit of slip handy. So I would put some a little bit of slip on the handle and a little bit of slip on the mug. Slip is a liquid clay. And this is actually from my trimmings with some water in it, so it becomes liquid clay. Then I hold the mug firmly and I place the handle where I want it to go and I, with my thumb underneath, I am going to gently apply pressure and smooth it into the mug. And I want to pay, pay attention particularly to the parts that may crack, which would be on the sides there. And then I'm going to take a look at it from the side view and see where it is going to sit. That looks quite appealing. So then I would put some slip on the bottom where I have scored it. And this just makes a better adhesion. So then again, make sure that it's straight on the mug. Hand inside the mug. And I'm going to, my inside hand is right at the bottom where the handle is to give it some stability. And then I do the same thing with my other hand, is taking the clay from the bottom of the handle and work it into the handle. And there you have it. You can kind of reshape it a little bit. And then what I do is I take a brush and I just kind of work that slip, which becomes like a glue, into the, the crack there where it's joined. Here's a little tip, a little trick. If it has come out of round a little bit, which this one is actually okay, but just to re-round it, I have a funnel that I've taken the end off. I place it in the mug, and then with a sponge, I gently push it in. just to make sure that it stays around because clay does have a memory and you want to make sure that it, it stays as round as possible. To dry this, I would put it upside down on a wear board so the handle droops down that way. And then that's it. That's how you put a handle on a mug. Thanks again for watching. That's how I put a handle on a mug. And in future episodes, I will do other demonstrations on how to do surface decoration on a mug, how to glaze a mug, just the potential. There's so much potential, so many things that you can do. And in future episodes, I will show you some of those ideas. Thanks for watching.